everybody black ninja 797 here and welcome back to another video and you guys have read the title correctly there is indeed rumors about a overwatch 2 a overwatch 2 i never thought i would actually say that because i always you know like jumped on the bandwagon as the meme about it about overwatch 2 but i didn't you know say it seriously at all ever like in fact i actually never thought it would happen but with overwatch we all know that the game is not necessarily as popular anymore so maybe Blizzard's thinking, hey, you know, since the original Overwatch has kind of died down and we still want to keep that legacy going, let's make a Overwatch 2. And that would be, you know, completely understandable looking at it from a business perspective. Although this doesn't really seem like a Blizzard thing to do, because here's the thing with Blizzard, right, is that Blizzard doesn't make really sequels. They just update whatever game they have repeatedly for years and years and years. Same thing. Uh, with their previous titles for example like uh wow or world of warcraft like that game has been around for what over 20 years now and like everyone still loves it they just they, it came out and then they never stopped updating it there's no like world of warcraft 2 um you know so why would they ever make an overwatch 2 it, it's like it feels weird to almost say overwatch 2 like it, it doesn't seem right you know what i mean um, but yeah, that's literally what we're talking about today. So I'm going to be talking about how we uh, came to even be in this situation. Um, I'm also going to be talking about the, the theories about it and then also what I feel like would happen if it were to actually be true. So let's talk about how it came to be. So I was going through uh, Twitter last uh, not, well last night as in the time you're watching this video, but it was right now as I'm recording this. Uh, I gotta learn on the present and past tense there on recording these videos. I don't want to, you know, get that wrong. But, um, anyway, uh, as of right now, I was scrolling through Twitter, um, but you guys will see in the past tense. But, um, I was on Twitter, and there was a, uh, hashtag, and it was the number one hashtag in the whole world, and it was Overwatch 2. And I'm looking at this, before I even click it, I'm just like, what the hell? There's no way. And I, I click it with, like, you know, complete disbelief, but, like, I actually, sure enough, saw a whole bunch of people saying that Overwatch 2 is confirmed, Overwatch 2 is coming out, um, talking about revealing it at BlizzCon, and then having it come out next year, and I'm just like, whoa, whoa, hold up there, filler, that's a huge accusation. Now, I know that I, I've, you know, been a part of a whole bunch of communities that make big accusations, slash, you know, big claims, <laughs> Call of Duty. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I've been a part of those situations, and I've even jumped on the bandwagon sometimes, or I've just dabbled in sometimes, but the thing is, though, is that Blizzard doesn't seem like the type of people to go and make an Overwatch 2, especially since they've never made anything 2 for as long as I can remember. I don't even know if they ever have, because, like, I've only been familiar with Blizzard for, like, a couple of years now, and, uh, I've never seen them make us something 2. It's just, like, it's, it's weird almost. It's, like, it's so weird that it would, imagine, like, your parents doing something for so long and then hearing them do something else, it, it like, and then just imagining why it's so different all of a sudden, it, it, it makes your brain hurt. <laughs> um, but, yeah, Overwatch 2. So that's pretty much how it happened, um, how I found out about it. And, um, the reason why a lot of people are, like, saying it's true is because apparently what it is that it's rumored blizzard employee leaking stuff i really doubt that because blizzard's not those types of people i mean if they are you know maybe it's the situation where someone like for example like that call of duty situation a couple months ago with call of duty uh, black ops 4 where some guy got fired and got pissed off and leaked a whole bunch of shit. um so yeah maybe that's the case i don't know who, who cares um but yeah it, it's at least flying around now am i concerned I would say yeah, but at the same time, I'm not really worried either. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm more just being on the safe side, but I'm not, like, afraid of it. Like, with, when I'm skeptical, like, when it comes to, like, Call of Duty, like, every time there's a new Call of Duty, I'm always, always just like, oh, please, for the love of God, for the love of God, don't be the future, don't have exosuits, don't have specialists. And, like, I'm always worried, worried, worried. But I, I, you know, in the back of my mind, like, it's probably okay. Now this, it's more of, like, it's all okay with a little bit of worry in the back. It, it's like it's, it's more optimistic than anything it's just mostly weird to me um so i'm not really that paranoid about it. it it's actually just more optimism than anything uh but yeah that is definitely what is the case here now i'm not really sure how i feel for sure um i mean this hashtag has been going around all night i'm gonna see if it keeps resurfacing resurfacing um again like tomorrow for example or even keeps being brought up again, or if there's any more information that eventually goes up. But um, the, the claim is that it's supposed to be revealed at BlizzCon in November, and then come out like in June of next year, which it wouldn't make 
the least amount of sense, but it really does seem really out of nowhere. Like, I, I really doubt that that's the case. Honestly, like, for me, I think this is kind of just a hoax and it's not really going to happen. Because the, the claim also says that um, Overwatch 2 is supposed to be almost like a Left 4 Dead type of thing, where it's literally, like, the same premise, PvE. They, they, they finally address stuff like the campaign, and they uh, are supposed to be having kind of like an open world vibe. I really don't think that's the case. I really think that it's just kind of a little bit of hoax just to kind of, like, get hype going. Because um, I know that Overwatch, like I said, is not the most popular anymore. Um, it's kind of just like... It's, it's, it's kind of like the the goat that could have been it was so so close to being the goat in fact it kind of was for a while and then eventually it just you know didn't happen to be the goat fortnite ended up being the goat in fact i think fortnite is the goat of gaming um ever since like it came out um like it wasn't the goat right away but fortnite did have a thing going for itself it actually did a pretty good launch i would say that fortnite became the goat back in like season three and then it was still building itself up during 2017 and Fortnite's been the GOAT since then, but before that, the, the, I would say that the GOAT was Call of Duty, honestly. Like, we have to kind of agree that Call of Duty was, and even still, based off of sales, but, like, at least player base wise before Ghosts was, like, definitely the GOAT. And um, I haven't really seen any game, like, become either, like, Fortnite or COD. Like, they, they've just been pretty damn close, is what you could say. Um, but, yeah, the money thing would definitely be a reason why they would probably do this, but... I really just kind of hope they they don't because my reason behind it is that like like I said I'm optimistic but it really concerns me of three things and three things only is that it's really weird because you never hear about this from Blizzard secondly is that this seems very abrupt and it's like very specific for some reason I don't know why like usually like they're vague and abrupt but this one's sp specific and abrupt and the third thing is that I'm worried that this is a quick cash grab and this is going to fail. Um, those are like my three main concerns, especially that last one. Because like, I know that everyone's saying that, you know, comp's broken, Overwatch is annoying, everyone just watches it for the, you know, whatever I can't say on YouTube because of the algorithm. But yeah, but like, I love Overwatch. It's one of my favorite games. In fact, it's near and dear to my heart. This will always truly be one of my favorite games. This game has done so much for me and I'm forever thankful for that. So thank you, Blizzard. But the thing is, though, is I really am worried truly about an Overwatch 2 is because an Overwatch 2 could almost kill the reputation of Overwatch because it would make Overwatch seem kind of like the meme that Call of Duty is, like just making sequels and not really caring about the old game and letting it kind of die. And I'm, I'm just too used to the COD logic with uh, sequels like lately because Destiny 2 is a flop. Um, we've had a couple of other games that were flops. Red Dead 2 is kind of a flop. Um, you know, we had Titanfall 2 that was kind of flop. For, ironically, they're twos for some reason. Um, but yeah, like a lot of these games in the last couple of years, some of the sequels installments, they're good. Don't get me wrong, they're good games, but they don't hit home. Like they almost kind of like have hype and then they die. And then the problems that come with it being like unfinished or, or people just not liking the game. And, and then that bad reputation just kind of kills the game and it never fully bounces back essentially. Like, don't get me wrong, I could probably hop on some of these games like Destiny 2, or Titanfall 2, excuse me, or Red Dead 2, but the thing is, though, is that I will admit, I, I'll be guilty to say that I've kind of had that bandwagon uh, hate slash, you know, lack of hype affect me where, like, I just don't care for the game anymore, and that's just because it was not keeping my attention when it first launched. You, you kind of have to keep people's attention for the first couple of months to almost a year for the game to be truly memorable because you can't do the COD thing where it's just like sequel and then and then like you know the game's not being supported because you're supporting the next game and you're rushing it and it, it, I'm just worried I don't know I, I am optimistic though like I said I am open to the idea of an Overwatch 2 it would be cool to see like either like the the uh, universe be re-looked at like from a different perspective add new heroes add new abilities add new maps add new story um, you can even bring back some of the old characters, continue their story, and uh, like they uh, they were talking about in the article, there might be a Left 4 Dead theme to it where it's just like campaigns and it's open world, and I, I would love that. That'd be really fun. I would, I've been begging for an Overwatch campaign for so long, and I would love to have that. But at the end of the day, I'm more concerned than I am optimistic, at least for just the one reason, but I'm trying not to be. Like, for example, I've been doing a good job at staying optimistic. I'm, I'm, I'm sounding more concerned in this video than what I'm really thinking, 
And I will admit thinking about it does kind of make me feel more concerned when I'm saying out loud. But I am more optimistic because I trust Blizzard. I know Blizzard. I played their games. And for me personally, I really like their games. I would be open to a Overwatch 2. So I'm going to definitely give it a chance. It's not like the COD thing where like the developers are deliberately screwing the game. And it's been so much of just failure after failure after failure that it just seems like an abusive relationship. And you just keep coming back. And like you know in the back of your head it's not going to actually get better. <laughs> and I, I know that hits too close to home sometimes for a lot of people. But it's the truth. So I'm hoping that that is not the case with this game, if it is even a thing. Um, but who knows, maybe I am just talking about speculation, uh, speculation and Overwatch 2 doesn't even exist. So anyways, guys, that's basically today's video. I hope you guys ended up enjoying. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. What do you think about the idea of an Overwatch 2? Are you guys hyped for it? Are you concerned for it? Are you a little bit of both? What would you want to see if the Overwatch 2 did exist? Um, personally, for me, I would definitely love to see the campaign, but I would also like to see new heroes new maps and just new 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 because I'm, I'm tired of recycled content as much as i love recycled content to a certain degree it's been too much for games lately so i'd rather just have the past be the past and i would just love to just see the future for you know what it's worth so anyways guys hope you enjoyed hope you had a great day leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i'll see you all in the next one peace out guys